going on out here today? Well, we're prepping our aircraft to go out and uh, land on the USS Curtis Wilbur, Arleigh Burke class destroyer. What's the, purpose, what's the purpose of this uh, of this exercise? Well, we're going out to do our uh, our uh, deck landing qualifications on a single spot, and what that does is allows us to be current and proficient in one of our wartime and peacetime disaster uh, relief missions. Um, how important is this kind of training for you and your soldiers? Well, this is real important because of the difficulty of the training and uh, the, the necess necessity for us to be proficient at this doing such a difficult task. In the event of a natural disaster or if, uh, if we were to go to our wartime mission, uh, one of our critical tasks is to go out to Navy ships, pick up supplies and personnel and transport them back and forth between the mainland. Well, um, what is the most difficult po uh, part of this? Uh, of deck landing? Uh, the actual landing on the deck, because uh, it's not like the boat's just anchored in the harbor. It's out at sea, the seas are rolling, the boat's doing a, doing a however fast it's going, it's rocking back and forth, and uh, just actually landing on a moving, tilting, rotating target. Um, is, is this uh, some kind of boring training? Do you find it exciting? What do you think? Or well, this training is really exciting for us because not a lot of uh, Army personnel and Blackhawks get to do this type of training. Uh, and it's just something different. Working with the sister service is always exciting for us and doing something uh, where we actually go out and, and do a, an actual real-time uh, mission is always exciting for us. Uh, you mentioned uh, talk, uh, working with the uh, sister service. Uh, what do you think about uh, collaboration between services? Well, working with the Navy so far has been great. Uh, they've given us everything that we've needed uh, to make this happen, uh, all the support, all the information that we need. And uh, going out there and working with them and the actual hands-on that we did a couple of days prior, uh, more than welcoming towards us. And uh, they are very eager, just as eager as us, to complete this training as we are. Um, and the, uh, your position as a cruise ship, uh, your fellow cruise ship, man, First, uh, what, um, what is the preparation? What, what is the most essential thing that you guys need to take care of? Well, outside of look, just knowing the calls that we need to make and where we need to make the calls as while we're making the approaches, uh, we have a, a lot of academic work that we have to do in preparation of familiarizing ourselves with the Navy terms, because the Navy uses different terms that we, than we do, so uh, knowing what they're talking about when they say port, starboard, or the starboard left, starboard right. Um, patterns and then uh, our actual practice approaches that we do here on the ground we have a mock-up of the uh, deck and uh, over on our uh, on our runway and we go land to that and that's probably the most important is the actual practice approaches um, is there anything else that you would like to say about this training uh, how how it helped your unit and how or some something else well this training is probably some of the most difficult that i've done as a crew chief and that it's really exciting for us because doing anything that, that challenges us and that's outside of our normal our normal mission which is just generally flying around the the kanto uh, greater honshu area is exciting for us and challenging and we we look forward to the challenge and we're gonna go out and execute as best we can thank you very much uh could you please tell me your first name middle initial last name and spell all of it uh, my name is Douglas uh, Randall Shotton. Uh, I'm sorry, say it again. What do you want? Uh, just your full name and spell it. Okay. Name is Douglas Randall Shotton, D O U G L A S R A N D A L L S H O T T O N. Uh, what is your position, Captain Shotton? I'm the Alpha Company Commander for 78th Aviation. Okay, so what are we doing out here today? Uh, today what we're doing is uh, deck landing qualifications in conjunction with the Navy. So what are we doing out here today, sir? Today we are doing deck landing qualifications uh, in conjunction with the Navy to qualify our crews on uh, the mission and to expand our mission profile by being able to conduct this task. Um, exactly what, uh, what's the process that's going to occur? Uh, this has been a week-long train-up in order to uh, reach this point. We uh, started with uh, academics and we did dry run training here on the airfield and the final coordination piece today is going to be to meet the boat underway uh, off the coast of Japan and conduct uh, the landings on the ship while it is moving 
and the intent is to have five landings per pilot in order to obtain qualification. Um, how does this qualification uh, help the pilots? Uh, this qualification gives us the versatility to transport personnel and equipment and supplies out to uh, vessels that might be staged off the coast of Japan or any other uh, sister country in order to uh, uh, give us that capability to support any inland operations that may be backfilled from assets at sea. Um, how, how important is this, train, is this training to you? Uh, this, is, this training is very important. We've been pursuing it for quite some time. It's uh, complex in its coordination and for us to finally get to this point after the months of work that we've put into doing this and to have the weather and have the personnel and have the coordination where we want it, uh, it's, it's a, very, uh, a very big deal for us and the intent is after completion of today that we continue to do this on a more regular basis um, and that's our intent. Um, obviously, there's a difference between the qualification for pilots and the qualifications for the cruise ships. Uh, what are the primary differences? Uh, the big difference between the uh, pilots and the crew chiefs is the pilots, uh, once they transition to uh, final approach to the ship, is they start to take all their commands from the ground personnel or the ship personnel as far as uh, executing the landing. Uh, at that point in time, the commands that we follow as pilots transition from the crew chiefs to the, uh, the shipboard personnel. The crew chiefs at that time are making sure that the aircraft is in a safe position to touch down uh, as well as the shipboard personnel backing that up and we take all our commands from, from the ship at that point in time. Uh, once we exit the boat and clear the space around the ship then the control of uh, uh, the aircraft and its space and position goes back to the crew chiefs at that time. Um, what do you think of training? How was it? Uh, the training was actually a great battle drill for us this week. Uh, everything went according to plan. Everybody was very involved and engaged, was where they needed to be and doing what they needed to do under short notice. And it's culminated to this point and we're expecting a successful event, primarily based on the preparations that we did. I got two more questions. I just want to get a little bit of a tighter shot here. There we go. Um, Um, regarding the regarding the collaboration between Army and Navy, uh, how, how do you see uh, the importance between the two services? Well, any joint exercise is important just because uh, most services have a little bit way of doing business. Uh, so for us to integrate with the Navy, for them to see how we we conduct this exercise and how they're going to support it, uh, it's it's very important and it's very significant. Um, our initial uh, coordination piece was to actually go to the, the uh, boat that we're landing on and sit down and discuss with the commander and the crew of that, that particular vessel on how we're going to conduct this operation. So it took some sit-down coordination to make sure that we were all on the same page and that this event was going to go off six successfully and effectively. Um, is there anything you would like to say about the crews and the pilot's performance during uh, the 78th Aviation uh, is a very professional organization and with the short notice to conduct this event uh, and the amount of time that we had to do the preparatory work, it's a testament to the, the pilots and the crew chiefs to be able to uh, effectively conduct the preparatory training and then get to the point of execution where we are today and I expect a fully successful event based on the professionalism of all crew members involved.